Welcome back. You're watching CNN News 18 and it's less than three hours to go before its liftoff for India's third lunar mission. Chandrayaan-3 is going to take off from the Sri Harikota space station at 2.35 p.m. The Prime Minister, who is currently in France, is also wishing the team for a successful Chandrayaan-3 mission. The Prime Minister going on to send out a message on social media ahead of that big launch to say that I urge you all to know more about this mission as we have made strides in space, science and innovation. It will make everyone proud, every Indian proud, is what uh, the Prime Minister has now come out and said, even as we're standing by for that big launch to take place at 2.35 p.m. The key scientific outcomes from Chandrayaan-2 include the first ever global map for lunar sodium, enhancing knowledge on crater size distribution, unambiguous detection of lunar surface water ice is what the Prime Minister has gone on to say. Remember, this is the third lunar mission of India. The landing was unsuccessful as far as Chandrayaan-2 went. That is something that we are expecting is a big hit, making India only the fourth country this time around to have entered this elite club of having landed on the moon. Harish Upadhyay, my colleague, joining us, getting us the latest on this. Harish, the Prime Minister, not only sending his wishes to Team Chandrayaan and to the ISRO scientists, but also wanting the country and the world to know what exactly is the significance of this mission. Well, absolutely. Uh, multiple scientific experiments that will be carried out uh, in this particular mission. Uh, apart from the two that uh, the Prime Minister has mentioned, remember, there are also a few more that uh, six payloads that are currently on this mission. Uh, on the spacecraft uh, will probe. One is uh, look at the lunar surface for multiple aspects. Uh, uh, the thermal aspect of it, uh, they'll also look at the components there, whether it has magnesium, calcium, and similar other components. Uh, there is uh, another payload that will look at the seismic activity uh, of the lunar surface where this particular uh, lander uh, uh, lands. So crucial aspect is also, let's not forget, one interesting payload that will look at Earth from Moon's orbit. So multiple insights that ISRO is likely to gain uh, once the soft landing takes place, which is likely to happen somewhere on uh, August 23rd, tentatively. Uh, that is what the ISRO expects right now. Friends, less than three hours to go. Uh, the countdown is already up as far as uh, Chandrayaan-3 goes. So what's the mood like in Sri Harikota there where you are, Harish? Well, upbeat. Mood inside ISRO, especially the team of Chandrayaan, uh, very upbeat and cautious. They are saying that we've learned uh, our lessons, we've uh, learned what went wrong with Chandrayaan 2. We've fixed it. We've also had uh, additional cushion in terms of uh, trending the legs of this lander in case the speed increases uh, up to uh, 3 meters per second. Also remember, uh, this lander and the rover has uh, additional solar panels on all the sides. So, of we try and reconnect that line with my colleague Harish, who's getting us the latest as far as the Chandrayaan 3 mission goes. 2.35 p.m. is when it is going to be launch time for this historic mission. The Prime Minister, who is currently in France on a state visit, also urging Indians to know more about this mission. Of course, sending his wishes to the team of ISRO scientists. Listen in to what he had to say. और आपको खुशी होगी अभी जब मैं आपसे बात कर रहा हूं तो भारत में चंद्रयान थ्री की चंद्रयान थ्री की लॉन्चिंग के लिए रिवर्स काउंटिंग की गुंज सुनाई दे रही है कुछ ही घंटों बाद भारत के श्री हरिकोटा से ये ऐतिहासिक लॉन्च होने जा रहा है You could just explain us as to how this Vikas engine is made, what is exactly the process, how it worked, how it's followed, and how did your team work towards uh, the engine? Right. Uh, we have been working with ISRO since 1985, as rightly put. And uh, Vikas has been uh, one of the main uh, workhorses uh, and the hardware for which is manufactured at uh, Rotary Aerospace since uh, almost two decades now. 
similar engine uh, is also will be going up uh, tomorrow uh, vikas engine is uh, largely made up of uh, steel and uh, the process starts with uh, cutting the sheets on the laser and then uh, rolling them into various shapes uh, welding and then uh, creating the uh, the thrust chamber as we call it and then there are on the thrust chamber there are many other uh, machine components like pumps turbines which are uh, assembled what we do is we uh, manufacture as per uh, the design given by isro and uh, uh, then uh, do a sub assembly and a sub assembled hardware is then supplied to lpsc where it is integrated into the stage the ability to handle parameter variation or dispersion was very limited so what we did this time is simply expand that further look at what are things that can go wrong so we instead of success based design in chandrayaan 2 we are doing a failure based design in chandrayaan 3 what all can fail and how to protect it so this is the approach that we are taken so for that we did many things one we expanded the area of landing half a kilometer by half a kilometer to 4 kilometer by 2.5 kilometer 4 kilometer along the track and 2.5 kilometer so anywhere you can land so it doesn't limit you to target a specific point it will target a specific point only in nominal conditions 4 km to 2 km and there is one benefit from chandrayaan 2 that chandrayaan 2 had a very high resolution camera on board it's called orbital high resolution camera this camera gave very good pictures almost 28 cm high resolution image of the entire moon with that we were able to find out uh, the landing site much better way than last time other uh, that uh, projects like gaganyaan or altya l1 they are no way related to chandrayaan 3 they are totally independent but uh, definitely that uh, the success of this mission will give a moral boost for the people to do the other work which otherwise also people are doing via they are independent they are they are no way they are linked this one so gaganyaan program is going on its own way with a very strong way and aditya l1 mission also going in a big way so that that mission will be taken care separately with its own technological difficulties and with the capabilities Preparations are on in full swing at Sri Hari Kota at the Satish Dhawan Space Center from where we are going to be seeing uh, Chandrayaan 3 launch at 2:35 p.m. this afternoon a uh, little less than 3 hours to go for that mission the mood is upbeat it is cautious it's also celebratory at uh, ISRO there ISRO scientists the team are hoping that they've learned from their failures from their mistakes of 2019 and this time around it is going to be a successful mission india is going to enter the club of four three elite countries to have landed on the moon we're also trying to un we're also trying to explore the untapped region of the lunar surface the south side many have tried uh, to land on the moon many have landed on the moon but never on this particular site of the lunar surface and that is what india is aiming to do which is why this is a historic a uh, mission for india for the world as well it is going to explore a lot of untapped area it is not only going to give us a sense of what exactly this particular mission talks about uh, this particular mission is about and what this mission could come out and give us it also will set the stage for future explorations in space in uh, exploring the moon is concerned it is going to be a significant win not just for india but for the entire world so it's not just a billion hopes that ride on chandrayaan 3 the entire world is watching in awe as far as this particular luna mission of india goes 2 hours 49 minutes from when we are going to be seeing chandrayaan 3 mission officially take off